Hi, I'm Chris from Rapid Education, and today I'm going to show you how to build a, a micro drone. To build this, you're going to need the 3D printed frame and camera mount. You can download an example of those from the Air Engineers website. You'll need four motors, two clockwise, two counterclockwise. Uh, the clockwise ones are the ones with the red and blue wire, and the counterclockwise with the white and black wire. You'll also need four propellers. Now, the packs come uh, with two clockwise and two counterclockwise in each set. You'll need a small cable tie, the battery, uh, the FPV camera, the flight controller, which will also come with the uh, battery connector uh, and some fixings. And then you're gonna need a couple of tools. You'll need uh, some wire cutters and strippers, small crosshead screwdriver, uh, a knife and solder and soldering iron. Now, first thing we're gonna do is show you how to clean up the 3D printed frame. Once you've printed your frame, which will be upside down, it will have all of this uh, support material and raft on it that needs to be removed. So the raft can just be peeled away and the support material will need to be cleaned off uh, with a sharp knife. Some of it will be able to be peeled away, um, but some of it will need cutting off. So you need to very carefully remove that from the frame. Now we've cleaned up our 3D printed frame, we need to fit the motors. So for this, you're going to need a pair of clockwise motors, which are the ones with the red and blue wires, and a pair of counterclockwise motors, which are the ones with the white and black wires. And the counterclockwise motors need to be in opposite corners to each other on the frame. So you place your frame flat on the table with the mounting holes so you've got two, uh, two small mounting holes here, which is where the flight controller will eventually go. So that we consider to be the, the left and right. So if you place it on the table this way, and then you want a clockwise motor in the top left and bottom right, and a counterclockwise in the top right and bottom left. And then the motors themselves just push fit into the frame from the bottom. So if you pick your frame up, take a motor, push it in from the bottom of the frame and just make sure that it goes all the way in uh, so that it comes up to the flange at the top. And then you need to repeat that uh, for all four motors. And the motors should uh, retain themselves, they should be quite stiff in, uh, in the frame. And how stiff they are will really depend on the, the quality of the, the 3D print and the tolerance of the 3D printer that you're using. The frame has been designed so that they should be a tight push fit. If they're ever so slightly loose, you can wrap a piece of, a very small piece of electrical tape very tightly around the motor before you push it in uh, to, uh, to retain them. So now we need to solder the battery connectors to the flight controller. Um, so for this step, you're gonna need uh, some wire cutters, solder and a soldering iron. You'll need a camera mount if you're mounting the FPV camera. So this is one that I designed um, on CAD and 3D printed. You'll need the FPV camera, the flight controller and the battery connector that comes in the flight controller package. Now there is um, two potential ways of powering your uh, drone. In the engineer's rules, you're allowed to use a maximum of two batteries, uh, one to power the camera and one to power the flight controller. Alternatively, we can power the camera from the same battery that powers the flight controller. So there are pros and cons. If you're going for the two battery method and the camera does have a, a connector directly on it so we can connect a, a battery straight to it. If you're going to the two, ca uh, two battery method, then there's more weight. Um, so that will affect the uh, performance of your drone. If you're going for the one battery method, then the same battery is powering both the flight controller and the camera, and so your flight times will be reduced. Um, so it's up to you to have a, a play around with those and see what gives you the best performance for your requirements. Uh, I'm gonna show you the one battery method um, because it's uh, the more complex method um, and requires uh, a bit of extra um, soldering. So for this method, what we're going to do is we need to solder the uh, wires from the camera 
to the power wires of the uh, flight controller. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut the connector from the camera and I'm going to cut it about 10 mil from the end. We need to tin the uh, wires on the camera. And then the wires need to be soldered to the pads on the bottom of the flight controller. So the bottom is the side with the four motor connectors on it. The top has the USB port. And on the bottom we have uh, the VCC and ground connectors. So the black wire needs to go to the ground and the red to VCC. But before we do that, if you're using uh, a camera mount and you've got a hole that your wires need to pass through, make sure that you've done that because once they're soldered to the board you won't be able to, to feed the wires then through a hole. Uh, so we're going to pass the uh, wires just slightly through the circuit board so black to ground and red to VCC and then solder those on Then we can turn the board over and the battery connector is going to be uh, soldered to the top. So the, the wires come pre-tinned. Um, you might just want to check that those are, uh, that there is a little bit of solder on there and it's going to flow. I'm going to just put a tiny bit more on my, my red lead. Maybe a bit more on there as well. And just again, make sure that the black goes to the ground uh, and the red to VCC. It's a bit fiddly this part. And the wires want it to turn everything away from where you want it to be. Okay, and there we go, that's soldered with your battery connector and camera. So now we're going to fit the flight controller uh, and camera assembly to the drone. Um, so first thing to do here is just recap what the uh, correct orientation for the flight controller is. And so this little black wire here is the antenna uh, and that goes at the front. So if you imagine it's like a diamond shape when it's mounted onto the, uh, onto the board and the antenna goes uh, at what's going to be the front of our drain. The top side is the side that doesn't have the uh, motor ports on. So the motor ports are on the bottom and the top has the USB connector on. So that's uh, this way around. And before we fit it, uh, we need to connect the motors because once the motors, uh, once the flight controller is fitted down against the chassis, we won't be able to get to the motor ports. So what I'm going to do is turn that over and firstly feed the motor wires through. And then we can turn that back. And they go into the corresponding port on the flight controller. Um, so you, you won't be able to see this probably in the, in the video, but if you look closely at your board, you can see they're labeled um, M1, M2, M3, and M4. And this motor goes into the connector that's nearest to it and so on. Um, so that will be uh, M3 for your bottom left, uh, M4 for your top left and working your way around. So if you just hold the flight controller in the right place and connect the motors 
to the nearest port. Uh, those connectors are polarity sensitive, so they'll only go in one way round. And then once they're in, you can then put the flight controller in the correct place. Bring your camera mount round and over the top because you're going to be using the same screws to hold your camera uh, and fix the flight controller down. And you can then screw those in. Make sure you haven't trapped any of the wires. And that the antenna is free. And the flight controller and camera are mounted. So the last job for us to do is to uh, fit the propellers and we're also going to fit a cable tie which is going to be our battery, uh, our battery retainer. Um, so it's important to get the correct propeller in the correct position on your drone. You have clockwise and counterclockwise propellers. Um, and we need uh, a clockwise propeller in the front left and back right, and a counterclockwise propeller in the front right and back left. The same as the motors earlier when we were choosing where to put the clockwise and counterclockwise motors. So firstly, you need to identify in your propeller set which is a clockwise and which is counterclockwise. And the way to do this is to look for the curved leading edge and the curved leading edge is at the front of the direction of travel. So you can see this one has the curved edge uh, on this edge. And so this is a clockwise propeller. Uh, and this one has the curved edge on this side. So that's a counterclockwise propeller. So your counterclockwise uh, is going on the front right. And these are just push fit. So you probably just want to support the back of the motor whilst you do it and then push fit onto the motor shaft. Uh, my other counterclockwise propeller on the back left. And then my two clockwise props. On the front left and back right. Just make sure that they spin freely and don't foul on anything. And finally, we want to put the cable tie on. This is going to uh, retain the battery. So we have this area here where the battery will go. So the, uh, this is if you're using the uh, example frame provided on the Air Engineers site, which doesn't have a provision for um, actually holding the battery. Um, if you're designing your own frame, then it's recommended uh, that you make a, a battery clip as part of the frame. But in this case, we're just going to run a cable tie under this part of the frame. Uh, make sure that you don't foul any of the motor wires with it. And then fit your battery. And pull the cable tie. Not too tight because you want to be able to remove, slide the battery in now. So tight enough so that it can um, retain the battery, but so that it can easily be uh, removed as well. And then use some cutters just to remove the excess of the cable tie. And then we can quickly test to make sure that everything powers up correctly. So if we connect the battery, should have uh, some lights come on the back of the, uh, of the camera. And also you'll see some lights on the bottom of the flight controller as well. Uh, and the power LEDs uh, for the, to the top of the flight controller is uh, it's un underneath my camera mount, but there'll be LEDs on there as well. So just make sure those all come on. Uh, and that's it, the assembly is complete. 
So before you can fly your micro drone, you'll need to do some configuration. So check out the configuration video and get ready to fly.